Another great option for minimizing your overspray and saving in materials is to use a low volume, low pressure paint gun. Now this is the AeroPro A610. This one only consumes about 3.5 to 3.9 CFMs of air, so it can be used with a small compressor, but also saves you a bunch on materials and it'll keep that garage from filling up with overspray. With this gun, I set my air pressure at 30 PSI and two and a half turns out from closed on my fluid volume. My fan pattern is wide open. Most of the time I'm using a low volume, low pressure paint gun. Because I'm spraying in an open garage, I wanna limit the amount of overspray and I wanna save in materials. And I really do like how much money this saves me in clear coat and paint. Now, if you want even less overspray, you can adjust this gun down the way we talked about with the base coat, adjust your fluid volume and adjust your air pressure accordingly. And you can get a beautiful looking finish by using less air pressure and less fluid. To get the best results when applying your clear coat, overlap your passes 75 to 80%. So when you make a pass, when you come back, you wanna overlap that previous pass by 75 or 80%. Remember your speed and distance. You wanna have a consistent speed and a consistent distance from that panel at all times. As I'm laying down the clear coat, I'm constantly evaluating how that clear's laying on the panel. If I'm getting a little bit too much orange peel, I may speed up just a little bit and that's gonna to help to smooth that out. I may even have to back away from the panel a little bit to let that clear coat atomize a little better and lay flatter on the panel. Once you have your gun set up, most of the time it just takes a few little minor tweaks in your speed and your distance to get that finish that you're looking for. I just want you guys to understand and experiment with how your speed and your distance are gonna affect that clear coat finish. Looking at my first coat of clear, I'm really happy with the finish. Now I wasn't trying to make it perfect on my first coat. I just wanna introduce that clear to the surface so we can go back and slick it out on the second coat. But as you can see, the garage isn't filled with overspray, so we've minimized our overspray with our gun adjustments and this low volume, low pressure paint gun. So it's Monday morning, we painted this truck Saturday. I just wanted to give you an idea of the finish. No dieback on the U-pull clear, so that looks good. It's got some, you know, some particles of dust. It's not perfect. It's got a little bit of texture in it. Nothing more than factory, but I am gonna cut and buff some of this dust out, a little piece of lint there. Overall, this repair came out beautifully. I'm not happy with the amount of dust that's in it, but we're gonna cut and buff this. We'll unbag this, get it outside, and take a look at it.